warm and inviting, serene in majestic history, proud with his beauty and traditions. This is Spain, an inspiring mixture of the old and the new. From here, Columbus sailed. Today, his statue faces the sea, sharing the view with an atomic power plant. The ships of the Phoenicians plied these waters. Here is the past and the present. The young and the young in heart. Here, dedicated hands through the centuries have created works of immortality. How can I tell you of the grandeur of Spain? Make you know the warmth of its people. Understand their pride. Do I see castles in Spain? Homes of kings? Do I see them or... Or is it that I just dream of such things? endowed with imagination, it is evident that a veil of importance surrounds this plane. For it is a magic carpet flying to a land that is a rainbow of color. Swift are the wings. En route, gracious hospitality that is Spain becomes apparent. And now, Madrid. Just moments more than dreams come true. Madrid only hours away from major airports of the world. Madrid, gateway to Europe, a city of irresistible appeal. Modern buildings, busy avenues and excellent hotels. New apartments, quaint little streets, sidewalk cafes, a city of memorials, fountains, and statues. Here all roads lead to adventure. Within minutes of Madrid, there stands a watchtower built in the 13th century by the Moors. Warm, verdant valleys. Mm -hmm. 
Nestled in towering pines lies an excellent resort offering summertime and wintertime pleasures. Then the magnificent castle in the city of Segovia, home of kings since the 13th century. And long before their roles in history, the Romans built this aqueduct to carry water into Segovia. More than 95 feet in height, almost 2,500 feet in length, it contains 118 arches, carved stones wedged into position. No mortar was used. A 15th century cathedral stands majestically, her steeple pointing skyward. Not far from Segovia is the only completely walled city in the world, Avila. It was here that Santa Teresa, one of the patron saints of Spain, was born in 1515. Although the city is believed to have existed in the first century, its wall and 88 towers were built in the 11th century. Part of the wall is formed by a cathedral, the oldest active cathedral in Spain. The stones in this dome are held in place by mortar made of gold. Is this not the land of enchantment? Bridges built by Romans. And suddenly there is the city of Toledo, standing tall and regal high on a hill, with the river Tagus rimming its base. In the Middle Ages, the steel of Toledo was the finest known. The art of sword making continues today. One can relax by broad windows overlooking the city. Through Iberia's domestic service, Barcelona is less than an hour from Madrid. Here, Columbus was given a royal reception in 1493. Barcelona, founded some 200 years before the time of Christ, is a prosperous industrial center. A ride on the funicular arrow over the harbor. Ships from all over the world anchor here. A fishnet. And time has not changed. Women repairing the net, just as others have done for centuries. 
Here is contrasting beauty. From this to the bold, controversial lines of the sacred family church. The Spanish architect Gaudi began this work in the belief cathedrals should have a different flow of beauty. Gaudi died in 1926 before his creation was completed. The centuries all art of glass blowing is still practiced in Barcelona. lighter heralds the hour for the fountains of Barcelona to begin their nightly pageant. Everywhere in Spain there are fountains, but none more elaborate or breathtaking than here. This is a happy land, and on festival days gaiety knows no bounds. In Andalusia, thousands gather from cities and pueblos in bright Spanish costumes to sing and dance. In Spain, pleasure goes hand in hand with wine. This is the house of Pedro Domecq, where sherries and brandies are blended for worldwide enjoyment. Seven generations of the family have upheld the traditions of the house of Domecq. And it all comes from the grape. On the plains of Spain, fighting bulls are raised for the ring. the bravest bulls are chosen. (laughs) 
Until the 18th century, men on horseback, known as rejoneadores, fought the bulls. Today, in many of Spain's arenas, one event is set aside to carry on that custom. This is Don Fermín Bojorquez, one of the finest rejoneadores in the world. Bullfighting is an art, the art of Spain, a spectacle of life and death. It was performed brilliantly by Joselito, Belmonte, and the great Manolete. And there is football, the most popular sport in Spain. A hundred and twenty thousand spectators are watching this contest. Everywhere in Spain there are excellent nightclubs. It is an hour from Barcelona to Sevilla. The Alcázar of Sevilla. This is one of the most remarkable experiences of a lifetime. For now, modern concepts must truly blend with history. families who lived here added their influence to the decor of this ancient structure. Ah, to walk where kings have walked. To gaze upon gardens once beheld by queens and their lovely ladies. Sevilla, a city of tranquil plazas, little streets, a proud past blending with modern times, the cathedral, an architectural masterpiece. Along a quiet little road, a family reflects the friendliness of the people of Spain, their dignity, nobility, their grace. And along busier roads, villages with medieval castles capture the attention, like uh, Loja, Antiguera, and Estepa. Granada, the Alhambra, the minaret. Malaga, with luxurious hotels facing the Mediterranean along the coast of the sun.
Iberia takes you to the Canary Islands of Spain, where according to legend, the lost city of Atlantis lies buried in nearby water. Tenerife is the most unusual of the Canaries. A volcano poured lava over the island many years ago, leaving a landscape possibly resembling the surface of the moon. Flying 10 miles a minute above storms and turbulence. Over a mass of water where for centuries, man battled weather and waves to inch his way to beckoning shores. Sitting like a jewel in the blue of the Mediterranean, the island of Mallorca. Palma, capital of Mallorca, attracts visitors from every country in the world. Modern apartments nearly touch the sea. And hotels attempt to belie the antiquity of this island paradise. Flowers. Villas. A land of joy, of romance. History. The streets of Palma. Windmills are everywhere. Cervantes, Don Quixote, Dulcinea del Toboso, and Sancho Panza. Only a few miles from Palma, one can witness the devil dance, as old as the island itself. by the virtues eludes the power of evil. Nearby in the village of Petra is the birthplace of Father Fray Junipero Serra the founder of the California Missions. And there is the village of Manacor, home of the world-famous pearls of Mallorca. To 
visit this island, absorb its subtropical climate and enjoy its charms. Whether on the beaches of its southern coast or in the beauty of its mountains on the north, is to enrich the soul with priceless memories. Now you have seen this land of Spain. The enchantment, the endless beauty. Castles in Spain are not as remote as they seem. takes only these wings to catch a dream. <laughs> 